Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Today we're going to finish up the Kiva Trial and head off to Vayne. So let's get started. But first, uh, I want to talk to this priest to restore my HP and MP to full. Yep, I already fought the monsters in the next floor. Yes, please. Alright. Since we're restored to full, we're going to move on. And the monsters still should be all cleared out, even though I saved my game and turned it off. Good. Alright. Now the exit should be over here somewhere. Yeah, it's like right over here. Yep, the thing is blocking the way. Okay, um, before I go off to that battle, I want to change my formation up a bit. Um, I want to have Alex in the back, and I want Luna in the front row. I want her to mostly absorb all the attacks, because uh, this boss has a lot of uh, magic power, and Luna has a lot of magic resistance. Um, so yeah, let's uh, head off to the battle now. Okay. Now this battle is very hard if you're not at like at least level 14. Uh, you definitely don't want to go AI. Uh, but first, just have uh, Alex defend in the back row and have Luna cast Cascade, Cascade Song on Alex for a couple turns. Now he does, uh, he has like two attacks. One attack is like physical, it will uh, uh, it will paralyze. It has a chance to paralyze you. Yeah, flash bolts. Um, another attack. Uh, it's an AOE. Uh, it's not good. Uh, let's keep defending and do another round of Cascade Song, and then uh, I'll start getting offensive and use um, Sword Dance for the rest of the battle. And that's his other attack, Mad Spark. Now for the rest of the battle, just have uh, Luna um, use a uh, Tranquil Song and Healing Song. And uh, keep her in the front row. You don't want Alex to get paralyzed. And if Luna gets paralyzed, don't worry. Uh, I think it only lasts for like one or two rounds. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're okay. Um, now I should take all of Alex's sword dances to uh, kill this guy. So it should be pretty good. And if Luna, if, if Alex is at full HP and Luna isn't, just use Healing Song. It saves him. And this guy is really weak to um, sword attacks, which is good. I better turn my TV down a bit, so I don't want any echoing. Okay, it's a uh, tranquil song here. Yeah, I remember the first time I fought this battle, I lost. Uh, it, this is just one of those boss battles that are really tedious and hard. But if you know what you're doing, it's a piece of cake. I've done this like five times so far in like a test run. Because I kept uh, having trouble recording this episode. Uh, this is like take five. <laughs> uh, we're fine. Nope. I, I healed Alex by accidents. Because the uh, formation's kind of messing my, my mind up right now. It's like Luna's in the front row and Alex is behind it. And, and, uh, and I see in the bottom, it says, you know, it's it's out of order, but never mind. Uh, just, uh, should, he should be dead after this round. Probably. Nope, one more sword dance. In one of the test runs, he died in the second to last sword dance. Whatever. And we should be good. There we go. Yay, we won! I think we did pass the trial. <laughs> Alright. But before we do that, uh, there's one more chest in this place we can get. And there's more ice mongrels you can fight if you want, but I'm not going to. Uh, and you notice how the, those guys run away from you instead of coming after you? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, this chest contains a healing ring, which is a pretty good accessory for Alex. Um, and yeah, I, I gotta change my formation. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, put Alex in the... Let's make it normal. It's okay. Alright, let's uh, put the healing ring on Alex. Um, it does... Uh, I think it... No, yeah, I, th 
I thought it looks like it uh, reduces your defense by one, but it increases it by like two, I think, or something. I don't know. Um, so now let's uh, head for the exits. Don't run into that guy. I can I could survive that battle, but it's it's just a waste of time. Uh, but that's it's pretty convenient that they put those guys there because you just come back to this place and there's one right there. Okay, so let's get out of here. Um, and this is the the first room that we were in, but we're on the upper level now. And there's nothing there's nothing down there. Just uh, head to the exit over here. <laughs> Yay, we're a part of the Magic Guild now. All right, we did it. And we are finally in vain now. We did it. It's pretty pretty beautiful, I guess. <laughs> oh, the the Magic Guild building isn't very hard to miss, but we're actually not going to go there right now. Um, first, I want to go to the uh, the shops to get some new gear and whatnot. We're go we'll go to the weapon shop first, and I'm going to rearrange my inventory really quick. Uh, I don't need all these herbs and antidotes. Give those to Null. Luckily, Null can carry any amount of stuff. So if you if you have some extra baggage, just give it to him. Uh, okay. Now uh, let's talk to this uh, merchant here. I want to buy this uh, saber for Alex. It's pretty good. And this this thing is for Nash, but. Uh, we're gonna buy this for Luna, the Dream Cane. If, if you can uh, cast Sleep on uh, enemies if you use it in battle as a tool. It's kind of like Dragon Quest. All right, um, we got everything here. We'll come back when I have Nash for my party sometime. He, sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> Not that much of a spoiler. Okay, let's go here to the equipment shop. I got a bad case of the sniffles today. I don't know why. Uh, okay, we're gonna buy. Uh, actually, I want to sell some of my stuff here. Um, I'm gonna sell the broadsword and iron armor, uh, and let's sell some Luna stuff here. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, okay, I want to buy chainmail for Alex. Um. I'm going to go with the silver bracelet because it's less money and almost the same defense as the silver shield. Let's buy that. Now let's go to Luna here, buy this, the uh, steel armlets. Magic rope. And this stuff is for Nash. Um, we'll, we'll get that later. Okay. Now we're going to just talk to some uh, NPCs and go somewhere else for the rest of the video. Talk to this guy. Is that so? <laughs> well, isn't that something? Okay, let's talk to this guy here. Oh, land? I wonder where that is. Yes, we are from Berg. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, these NPCs just talk about vein and magic stuff. Yeah, nothing really special. Yes, Black Rose Streets. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with that guy. I actually do like the library in this place. It has a lot of uh, interesting books. Talk to her. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to the library. Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't being sarcastic when I said that I like the library in this game. Um, these books do actually have some pretty interesting stuff. And I'm going to read them all. So let's start here. Dragon magic is perhaps the most powerful magic of all. 
but it can be used only by the one who proves worthy of protecting the goddess. Look at this one. You can read this book a hundred times over. You can study the history of, the, of magic for decades. But unless and until you use magic in a combat situation, you'll never know the true extent of your skill. Wise words. The Dragon Master is granted the use of the Dragon Armor, which is imbued with special magic. Only a skilled Dragon Master has the ability to call upon that magic. Okay. Really? That's, that's pretty cool. Eh. I, I like how the the our characters uh, respond to certain NPC dialogue. It's it, it adds a pretty nice you know element to the dialogue and plot or whatever. Anyway, this book has this bookshelf has nothing. Uh, if I read the wrong one, sorry. If magic is the flesh of our world, the goddess Althena is its soul. It is the goddess who created this world in which we live in. The power of magic is never to be underestimated and never to be abused. In the hands of an expert, magic is far deadlier than the mightiest sword. Just like the pen. The goddess Althena is blessed with the gift of immortality. Forever will she protect, guide, and cherish us. Intermediate Magic Spells, Volume 3, Controlling Flame. The Vile Tribe is, was a band of foul creatures in which knew only of hate and destruction. Without the intervention of the goddess, they would have had their wicked way with our world. The Vile Tribe? What's that? When, the, when our world was newborn, an evil force called the Vile Tribe tried to conquer it. They were banished by the goddess to, a, to the faraway frontier at the edge of our world. The Vile Tribe has not been seen since, leading many to conclude that they have died out. And I think I'm reading these bookshelves out of order. I think it starts, like, up here or something, but it doesn't matter. The Dragon Master utilizes the power of his own magic and of the dragons to protect the goddess from harm, and to maintain peace in our world. He is the ambassador of all humanity. We owe our health, our wealth, and our very existence to the goddess. She cannot be praised enough. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 2, The Spirit of Water. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 1, The Spirit of Fire. Dragon magic is the ultimate combination of hearts, mind, and soul. To witness dragon magic is to witness the sorcery with strength equal to the goddess herself. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 3, The Spirit of the Sky. Okay, let's read this here. Ride a broom in three days. Guarantee to work or you'll suffer an incredibly painful fall. <laughs> our, our, well, no, sorry. One popular folk remedy for a headache is to paste a fillet of pickled fish onto one's forehead while repeatedly chanting, I am the Eggman, I am the Walrus. Perhaps unsurprisingly, this does not work. <laughs> and that was a Beatles, re a Beatles reference. And I, and I pronounced filet wrong. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. According to legend, we once lived on the Blue Star. But no one knows how or why we now live in this world. Hmm. That's interesting. If magic disappeared from our world, it would become a place of chaos and death. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to this guy here. He must be the librarian. Uh, I'm actually applying for a job at the library. That's a, kind of a coincidence. But, yeah. We're not interested. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 4. Hangover Remedies. This world was a dead star until it was touched by the goddess. Where there was darkness, she brought light. And where there was death, she brought life. The frontier is a sprawling wasteland on the outskirts of our world. No one brave, enough, brave or foolish enough to venture into the frontier has ever returned. Vain is the place in which our knowledge of the magical arts is kept, and in which that knowledge is taught to each new generation of mages and priests. Intermediate Magic Spells, Volume 8. Goodbye to Grass Stains. <laughs> At the edge of this world is a region where the blue star has never shone, and where t the touch of the goddess has never been felt. Althea's tower is where the goddess makes her home in our world. 
She looks upon her children and smiles down at us. Overconfidence is the greatest enemy of a student of magic. Attempting to cast a spell without completely understanding it is it inevitably leads to disaster. A as they embraced Jane's heaven blot Jane's heavening bot bosom pressed firmly against John's manhood. John's hands worked their way to the petals of Jane's sweet rose as <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. When the goddess shaped our planet, not even her enormous power could reach the distant frontier. And so it remained a wasteland even as the world around it blossomed forth with new life. Hmm. A lot about the frontier in here. Name any Dragon Master and you can hear a hundred different tales of their incredible adventures. Leon, the mighty Gale, who fought his foes with the binding, blinding force of a hurricane. Gaul, the Iron Hand, who could fell the largest man with a single swing of his gi gr granite fists. Alicia and Leticia, twin sisters who proved that two is better than one. Nato, the singing swordsman who often burst into song while decimating his enemies. The mysterious disappearance uh, and presumed death of Dragon Master Dine occurred 15 years ago, but the countless theories and endless speculation about what really happened continues undebated, unabated. The last person seen with Dine, Master Galleon, refuses to speak about the Dragon Master. Some think it, it is out of respect for his fallen friend. Others believe Galleon has something to hide. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. The same spell cast by two magicians will have a slightly different appearance and effect. Magic is, a u is as unique to each person as his face or fingerprints. The blue star is cooler than the coldest heart, a barren orb encased within a thick layer of ice. Almost done, almost done. We have yet to understand why the blue star always shows us the same face. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing on this shelf here. Yeah, we read about that already. Okay. Vane serves as both a place of magic and an airborne guardian of the goddess Athena. Of course, the day will never come when the home of the goddess is besieged by evil. Hope so. No mere human is allowed to enter Athena's tower and gaze upon the goddess herself. The honor is reserved exclusively for the Dragon Master. A small number of magicians believe that Athena has entered into a sleep of sorts, but are unsure as to when or if she will reawake, reawaken. Oh, cool. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Magic is the stuff that created our world and which holds it together. Okay. Alright, we, we finally finished reading all the books in this, this uh, library. It only took like, like close to 10 minutes. As opposed to over 100 years. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of that stuff is very interesting and you know, you'll have to remember that for like the whole game. I'll, like the stuff gets brought up later, you know. So it's nice to read on early in the game. But anyway, we're just going to talk to a few more NPCs and then, uh, whoa, we're already at 19 minutes. Ugh, this is going to be a pretty lengthy episode. Uh, well first let's go over to the goddess statue and heal up. Uh, we'll, t we'll talk to, uh, this guy here. Yeah, this is the magic guild here. This big building here. Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits for this episode, but when we come back, we're gonna head into the Magic Guild building and uh, see what happens there. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.